Coach Greeny, your home for good. Off the road, the Road Warriors have survived to come home for the final four matches of the season. This weekend, we're hosting Oregon State and Oregon. Tell me about your team at this point in the season. How are we going to attack these two teams from Oregon? Well, you know, it's um, anybody at this time of the season, you know, is tired and, and has you know, gone through travel and things like that, but it'll be great to be at home for the rest of the season. And I think this team is still fighting. Um, you know, we had some great wins against Colorado and Utah, and then did some pretty good things on the road in the Bay Area as well, just couldn't pick up those wins. But, um, you know, I think the team is doing well. Um, we, we got, you know, three days off this past weekend, which was kind of nice, and so we're back at it this week. And, and we just need to, you know, really play consistent and um, just, be the aggressors this weekend. What part of your game do you think you need to step up in order to beat Oregon State? Well, you know, we haven't been doing a very good job lately of blocking, so um, that really needs to, to step up. I think we've been doing a great job of serving the ball, getting teams out of um, system, as well as, you know, we've been running our middle pretty well, so our passing has definitely picked up. But I'd like to see our blocking really improve this weekend. Oregon State presents a whole amount of different trouble for the Cougars, mostly in one player who is not only a big player, but also the top server in the in the conference. That would be Camille Saxon. Yeah, she's a great player, you know, and um, a great server. She plays all the way around, can really hit from anywhere. So, um, you know, we would definitely need to be aware of where she is and she can move that ball around and, um, you know, has a lot of experience coming in. So um, a great player and we'll really need to focus on her this weekend. I'm sure that you have found improvement in all of your players from last year to this year or even from August until now in November. Can you pick out one or two players that you think have improved a great deal and tell us what those improvements have been? Yeah, I think Verlia Hardaway is really a standout um, player that has improved so much. You know, didn't get a whole lot of playing time last year and stats were not very good. Um, and so, you know, she did um, some really great things in the off season and, and worked really hard and kind of made that commitment to be, um, you know, a better player. And it has shown and it has definitely paid off, um, you know, playing really well and, and her numbers are great within the Pac-12. So I think she's probably the most improved. Um, and then I think, you know, JC Harris has done a great job um, as a sophomore. Just we've relied on her a lot this year, probably a little bit too much. But, um, you know, she hangs in there. She's a competitor and um, has really shown a lot of improvement in her game overall. Saturday is going to be a little spikers drill demonstration between the break. How many little spikers have you had this fall? Little spikers has been great, you know, our, our second year and we had 60 little spikers sign up, you know, and it, it's been a different number kind of every week, but it'll be fun um, for the crowd and the community to be able see, to see them out, you know, doing their skills at, at the game break. And it's just a really fun program that our all of our players get to work with um, those little spikers throughout the fall and, and really get to know them. So it's, it's really fun and, and hopefully the crowd will enjoy that. All right. Well, good luck to the Cougars this weekend against Oregon State and Oregon Friday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks, Linda.